several years ago, there was a commercial here in, on TV locally in um, the Phoenix market, and I guess in the state of Arizona, that showed a couple, probably about my age, um, waiting for a pregnancy test. And, I, and they were very nervous, and I thought it was going to be a commercial for some kind of fertility drug or clinic or something. And you no, know, they get the result, and were completely dismayed that it was positive, and the camera then pans to their very young daughter, um, who looked to be about 14, and then the message was, at that point, was from a drug-free Arizona saying what how bad marijuana is. And that leaves the impression, especially among very young people, that, oh, oh if I smoke pot, I'm gonna get pregnant. And that simply isn't true. And we can teach children that Drugs are bad, and having unprotected sex at such a young age is bad without lying to them. And that brings me to my point about um, State Bill 1062 that's currently sitting on Jan Brewer's desk. Um, we're being lied to about this. It's called the Religious Freedom Bill, and it is being completely reported as Arizona's new anti-gay legislation, and that's not what it is. Um, the bill is designed to protect people from having to do something that goes against their religion and ostensibly um, bake a cake for um, a gay wedding or be a photographer and be you know hired to uh, um, photograph a gay wedding. If they don't want to do that, um, they don't want to be forced to do it which has been done as a current case in Colorado now. Um, the, I'm not really sure, you know, I'm not saying it's a good bill or it's a bad bill. I think it's probably unnecessary. I, I think you have the right to, I thought you had the right to refuse services to anybody, but I guess I'm wrong about that. Uh, I would rather see this dealt with by the courts on a case-by-case -case basis if it should happen. I really question the motivations of the couple in Colorado who got a court order ordering the baker to bake them a cake. Uh, do you want a wedding? I mean, did you want a cake or did you want a case? So that was just an epic pile of fail on every single level. Uh, that would also be the worst cake ever. Could a Christian go into a Jewish deli and be refused a sandwich because he's Christian? Um, yeah, and you can have a court order to make them make you a sandwich, but that talk about eating a crap weasel sandwich with those you know ingredients probably literally in it. Why would you want to do that? I am far more interested in market-based reforms. If I was standing online in a bakery and I heard the owner say, I'm not going to bake anything for you because you're gay or I don't do gay weddings or whatever, I'm not going to be, my, personally, I'm not going to be buying anything from them either. If I'm sitting in a restaurant and black people are told that you can't have a table here, you have to go sit at the counter or you can't sit at the counter or whatever it was, I don't want to eat anything there either. And I think that by just enlightenment and education, I think that most of this stuff doesn't you know, it's more a rarity than it is rampant. And I think we only need laws for something that is absolutely rampant. Um, once you start chipping away at religious freedom, the next thing to go is freedom of speech and the First Amendment. So this isn't about gay weddings and bakers. This is about the, you know, the far left using gay people to chip away at religious freedom, which is already being done at a federal level. Um, that's a, you know, completely off topic, but what, you know, a government that can mandate how you uh, observe your religion is a government that can force one on you or they can take it away. And this all goes both ways, people. So know who the liars are. Don't, you know, sift through that bowl and decide for yourself if this is a good bill or it's a bad bill. I'm not saying either, I'm just saying that you're being lied to about it at this point. So thanks very much for watching all this and have a great week.